Welcome back, everybody. I'm Nick Slotus, your one-stop shop for brews, budgets, and board states. With your daily obscure card highlight, where I show you an obscure, powerful card from throughout Magic's history. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more daily card highlights, as well as tons of other MTG content, daily live streams, and uploads on Sunday and Wednesday. Today's card highlight is Palace Guard from M10, sitting at seven cents. Illustrated by the talented Vulcan Baya. I'm not sure if that's how you say their name, but it's a super cool name. Vulcan? That's awesome. Legal in Modern, Legacy, Vintage, Commander, Oathbreaker, Popper, and Penny. Ran in 775 decks on EDH Rec. Palace Guard is 2 and a white for a 1-4. Palace Guard can block any number of creatures. That's it. I have to be honest, this is my favorite magic card. Yes, I know, doesn't seem like it would be. I decided the other day this is my favorite magic card. I'm not sure why. I absolutely love this card. It interacts so well with giving it indestructible giving it protection from colors with eight and a half tails. Brave the elements. It can block up to three one one tokens, which isn't always something to laugh at. If you can buff it up at all, it can kill the stuff it blocks as well. If you can give it double strike, it's insane. If you can give it first strike, it's really cool. If you can give it life, like if you can get a death touch, this card is so cool. Everything in magic, you can put on this card pretty much and make it cool. I think there's like two other effects in the game that do this. There might be like an enchantment that gives a creature the ability to do this. And then there's like an angel that's like a six drop that does this. There's no other thing that's this cheap that does it. Where it just interacts so well with so many different aspects of magic. I absolutely love this card. Throw a commander's plate onto this thing. Uh, I think so. Dark steel plate. Any of the swords of go crazy on this thing. Mother of Ruins is really good with this thing. I can just keep thinking of cards that go insane with palace guards. I never see it played and I absolutely love this card. At its worst, at its absolute worst, a lot of the time it feels like a fog. It's like I'm playing a three drop, it blocks all their creatures for one turn, my guy dies, it's a fog. Which isn't very good, but it's okay. It, it does serve a purpose. Most of the time, like, I, like you can see by my list here, you can find some way to make this thing stay alive and just continuously be the most annoying thing on the board for your opponents. I absolutely love Palace Guard. It's hands down my favorite magic card. Consider picking some up. Let me know below if you've seen this card or plan on picking one up. Go check out some of our other videos on the channel or click on one of these two suggestions on the top right of your screen. If you'd like to show some additional support head over to patreon at patreon.com slash nick slotus starts as low as one dollar to get shouted out like tyler betsy and katie our current amazing patrons if you have a deck you'd like to be reviewed we're actually starting deck reviews on live stream on friday so at six o'clock on live on the channel we'll be going in order from how they get sent in and reviewing deck lists we've got about seven to ten of them in by now by the time you got by the time you guys are watching this so get them in quick if you want to see them in the near future just send me your deck list with a little quick summary of what the deck does and uh, yeah that's about it we might turn some of those live streams into uploads it depends on how they go consider subscribing uh leave a like comment i love looking at the comments by the way uh let me know how you feel about this card much love guys uh, and go play some magic